So how do you make more money? Well, here's a simple rule. The more money you make, the more money you spend. That's how most people see their rule of life. But actually, the rule should be, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. So how many of you know somebody who's on a six-figure salary and at the end of the month, they're still broke? I know so many people like that. I know so many people that make millions of dollars every single year and still end up broke. Why? Because their outgoings are much higher than their income. So one of the things you want to be focusing on, especially if you want to earn more income, if you want to create more wealth, the, the rule is we take the money or we make the money and then we multiply that money. So then what are the ways to multiply money? One of the things you want to look at, the fastest and easiest way to multiply money is to put it into some kind of asset. So assets are something that increase in value over time. So if I say to you, how many assets do you own right now? and the assets that you have, how many of them have increased in value, have gone up in value? For example, I know a lot of you watching this, some of you may own some property, right? Now, if you look at how long you bought that property, maybe some of you bought that property, you know, maybe five, 10 years ago. So if you look at how much you paid for it back then, compared to how much it's worth now, how much more money is it worth? Right? So that's what we call the intrinsic value is what we call the capital growth. This is one of the reasons why you want to invest in assets because assets has an inbuilt capital growth. What else has capital growth? Well, you can put into stocks and shares. I know a lot of people that buy and drive Teslas, right? But imagine if you'd have taken the 70,000 you paid for a Tesla and you put that into a Tesla stock, right? So if you put that, you know, many years ago, right now you could buy maybe 10 to 20 Teslas because everything that we put our money into, we've got to look at what we call the R. OI. It stands for return on investment. A lot of people don't look at the COI, which stands for the cost of inaction. So the cost of inaction happens when you're able to get into something, but you don't get into it. For example, a lot of people say, you know, John, this Bitcoin thing, all these people talked about that. Years ago, my friends told me it was always a scam. And now, you know, look at where it is right now. And again, that could change depending on when you're watching this video. But the key here is that to always look at where you put your money. Is where you're putting your money, is it bringing money into your pocket or is it taking money out of your pocket? And that is really the rule of creating wealth. We create the cash flow and then we invest the cash flow. That cash flow invested then returns as either a dividend or returns as a lump sum of cash. This is why one of the best ways to become a multimillionaire is to get exits or get the lump sums of cash, right? So if you buy a property, it increases in value when you sell it, you get a lump sum of cash. Yes, you have to pay taxes on that. In fact, I'm going to do a calculation, right? If most people save, let's say, 500 per month from their salary, times that by 12, that means every year they're saving up 6,000, right? That's if you're saving 500. So if you do a million, divide that by 6,000, it's actually 166 years. So it's going to take you 166 years by saving 500 pounds per month to become a millionaire. Right now, you can become a millionaire by having intrinsic value. So when you invest in something and it increases in value, if you look at the net worth, if you were to sell that, you could liquidate that and then you could get the cash back. And that's another way you could also monetize. But one of the rules that I realized when it comes to making more money and earning more is you also have to grow yourself. See, most of you, you have a personal net worth and thought process. Oh, but John, I'm only worth 100,000, right? Like if most people are not even earning a 100 grand salary, if most people got to 100K salary, they're like, oh my God, John, that's amazing, right? So that's actually the goal. Like when we go to school, it's, oh, I want to make 100 grand, right? Well, at least when I was at school, that was kind of our goal at the time. And then what happens is it keeps us limited. We have this limited thinking. In our minds say, okay, I want to make you know a million this year or 10 million or a billion. It may sound like a big figure, but then here's the thing. When you find out what your goal is, you can reverse engineer back to how you're going to get it. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. They're always in a position where they are creating things that are not increasing in value. They don't have the asset. They don't have the thing that can take it to that next level. And, and for me, I'm always looking at what is the next level? What is the next level? What is the next level for you? If you're earning 100K, maybe the next level is half a million. If you're earning half a million, maybe it's a million. If it's a million, then maybe 5 million, 10 million. If it's 10 million, it's 100 million. If it's then, then it's half a billion, then a billion, and then so on and so forth. Now, do we always want to keep going to the next level? Well, I think we want to play the game. That's how you know where you're winning in the game. Another rule that I always use as well, if you want to earn more money, is you have to spend less. Now, I know this sounds obvious and I kind of mentioned this. They spend more than what they actually make. So let's say they make 100 grand a year, but they're spending 150, right? So that's the trap, isn't it? We earn more money, we buy nicer things. We earn more and more money, we buy nicer and nicer things. And it shouldn't be like that. Actually, you should really look at the income. If you want more freedom in your life, you see why people stress and anxiety, like a lot of the stress and anxiety comes about making money. Right? But if you had a lot of money in the bank right now and you were comfortable, 
then would you have to worry about making money? Like your choices that you would make would be far better. You wouldn't be desperate to have to go and make sales, get more clients, sell more of your products and services. You could actually sit back and you can wait and you can wait for the opportunity to come and you'll have the time to implement. You'll have the time to work on your health. You'll have the time to work on your mind. You'll have the time to work on your relationships. Actually making more sometimes is a trap. Now, you say, well, John, you're, you're contradicting yourself. You're saying you can go to the next level, but stay where you are. No, what I'm talking about is systemization of what you're doing. So if you're able to create 100K and you can systemize that and you can have the cost covered and you've got income coming all the time, then you don't have to worry about it because that's why it's so important to have recurring business models. The effort that it takes you to sell something once and get paid once, it's the same effort for you to sell something once and get paid over and over and over again. This is why I always encourage all of you to get into a business model that creates recurring income, which leads me to the next thing about making more money. Anything that you do really should be residual, meaning you create something and it creates something else, or it's gotta be passive. You've created this product and that thing now makes money for you without you having to be involved in it as much. And often I see a lot of business models, they're just trading time for money. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the job is that you're trading time for money. You do this job, you get paid per hour, and this is how many days you work in a year, this is how many holidays you get. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But you wanna start thinking about how are you gonna create the income and you change your earned income and you turn that into passive income. It's one of the reasons why we like to run a lot of virtual summits. If you haven't attended one of my virtual summits, make sure you check the link in the description. Every time I travel around the world, I always meet incredible entrepreneurs. You know, the funny thing is that they're all multimillionaires, but they all do it in different ways. Some of them do it through real estate investing. Some of them do it through being a creator. Some of them do it by using online business e-commerce. Some of them do it by trading. Some of them do it by doing collaborations and partnerships. Some of them do it by becoming an author and they've got a personal brand and they sell sponsorships. Some of them do it by doing affiliate marketing. I'm just so mind blown by the amount of opportunities. I literally had a meeting in Hong Kong with a friend of mine and she does it through the Web3 markets, right? So there's so many things that you can do right Right now but you're not hanging around the right people because you're not hanging around the right people you don't get the knowledge and that, that's why the rich get richer and the poor get poor it's kind of like toothpaste if i squeeze it in the middle i go up or i go down right we want to go up but to go up you got to hang around the right people so that's why I always like to put these virtual summits on every single month to really share with you all the latest strategies. The strategies, what used to work three months ago, five months ago, doesn't work in today's market. So you've got to start focusing on what's working now, adapt to the market changes really fast. And that's how you're able to grow to the next level. And by the way, if you have any questions for me, leave a question below, I'll personally come in and answer it. And if you know anybody who's really struggling with finances right now, do me a favor, forward this video to them on WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, forward it to them, top of the link, forward it to them because I want them to see that there are so many opportunities. Like people get lost and what they do is they, if they want to make more money, they go and get another job. And what happens is you're having less time now. And actually the thing that stops you from creating wealth and money is actually not having time. So it's very counterintuitive how business and entrepreneurship works. And also one last thing. Now I'll link a video at the end of this as well so you can really see some of the things that can really help you. One thing I realized about earning more money, it's not just about keeping and making it, but it's also having it sustained. Sustained means going into a business model that doesn't go obsolete and you change it. Because one of the three reasons why businesses fail is they have the wrong business model, they have the wrong team, or they're just not generating enough leads. My friend Daniel says everything downstream from lead generation. So actually, if you want to earn more money, you should be focusing on generating more leads every single day. And that's why you will generate leads, you'll generate inquiries, and you'll make more money. And that's really the simplicity of business if I was to simplify it like that. Also, make sure you check out this video here because that really helped you get started on.